and the snake must have left because they go into this tree now. Yeah. He was in uh, Congo, and they were hunting gorillas for the, the hall, for the African hall. And he shot one gorilla, the old man of Mikeno. And that was sort of not great, but that was fine. He saw another gorilla above him, and he shot up and shot the gorilla. And instead of falling where she did, she tumbled down the side of the mountain, hitting him. And then she went, she kept tumbling down the side of the mountain. Right after that, a baby, one of his, his African helpers, uh, guides, took a spear and speared the baby. And he ran over, and the baby was still alive. And he looked in the baby's face, and he says in his own writing that it looked like the baby would have come to him if he held him. The baby was terrified and frightened and, and had all that terror in his face, terror that was totally and completely recognizable to him and to any human being. He did have that moment when he said, oh my God, what am I doing? Carl nicknamed that baby gorilla Clarence, which was his name, which is really very telling. And I think she was with Carl Akeley because she wanted to be Carl Akeley. She was a woman in a time that simply didn't accomplish the kinds of things that Carl Akeley did. So she was his second-hand person. She helped him so much with his exhibitions, his exhibits at the Field Museum. And they went to Africa together, and they were colleagues. They were very close colleagues. But there was very little intimacy. And I think that um, there was a huge loss in her, a little, um, not a loss, uh, a longing, a yearning for, for that, for a child. Akeley was so involved in his work, I just don't think that was ever going to happen. Uh, but Delia fell in love with this little monkey, this little vervet monkey, and she decided to adopt the monkey and did so. And it really caused tremendous chaos in their lives together. She was driven. I also think, on the other hand, personal opinion, that she was passive aggressive. And for everything that he didn't give her, she sort of used that monkey, you know. Um, it's my monkey, and it, it was out of control, totally out of control. He started spending less time at home, started having an affair with who, well, the person who would become his second wife. So really, this little monkey sort of destroyed their lives. If you look at what Carl Akeley did, even as a boy, in creating these little dioramas, these little worlds, they were perfect. He had total control over them. And he didn't like it when he didn't have total control over things. And you, it's hard to have control over a child. It's impossible to have control over a monkey. You know, he could get under the skin of dead things, but he just couldn't do it with live human beings or live animals. He couldn't.